we're going to look at multiplying polynomials. That sounds intimidating, it's not too bad. But let's start with the basics. So if we had something like this, 3 times 2x plus 6, to multiply that through, this 3 gets distributed through to both, to both of these. And so I would have 6x plus 18. Now I want you to recognize that these two expressions are the same. This one appears multiplied together as a product. This one here is added. So this would be a product. This would be a sum. This comes to be a big deal pretty soon. And these two, they are equal. As we multiply them, so they're the same. Okay, let's uh, increase complexity a little bit. How about 2x times 4x minus 8? It's the same technique. We're going to distribute this 2 to both. Is 2x into both terms. So we get 8x squared, x times x is an x squared, 8x squared minus 16x. And again, the product the product up top equals the sum down here. Now, I want to do a little stupid trick. You can actually undo this. So if this is the sum, I can undo it by factoring. So here, we multiplied it. And down here, we're going to factor. Let's see, let's take a 4. How about a 4x? I can take a 4x out of both of these. Let's see, 4, that would be 2x minus 4. Again, all of these are equivalent. Let's see, 8x squared minus 16x. And here I factored it. This is going to be a really big deal shortly, so I want to just introduce it and put it out there. So these aren't too bad to do, where it's just a single number or just a single monomial by a binomial. But what if it was something a little more complex? So, or let me show you another way to do this. How about this? If I have 3 times 2x plus 6, which we just did, I'm going to show you another way to multiply this. And then out here, I'm going to put the 3. Okay, and you can see it's 3 in the front and 2x plus 6 up top. It doesn't matter which way I do this. I could have just as well done it this way. 2x plus 6. Could have done something like that. Doesn't matter which way I go. The reason I bring this up, this is super powerful when we have multiple terms. You'll see that in a sec. But let's just go ahead and get through this. So 3 times 2 is 6x. 3 times 6 is 18. This, 6x plus 18 is the same as this, 6x plus 18. Okay, and I could do it over here also. 6x and 18. Okay, where I multiplied these two, and then multiplied these two. Okay, so let's take it one step further and really show the power of this technique. So how about this, 2x plus 2 times 
um, 6x minus 4. Now, if we did the distributive property, which as the first example I had, it would look like this. You would take this first term, multiply it to this first term, then you take the first term and multiply it to the second term, and then you do that again. You take the second term. It gets ugly really fast. I'm not even going to bother to do it this way, but instead I'm going to show you a much more powerful technique we can use for expanded systems. So we're going to use basically the same as this, but a little different. So one of these goes up on top and one goes along the side. So let's take this guy, 6x minus 4. And over here, 2x plus 2. Now, we're going to go ahead and multiply them. So 2x times 6x, 12x squared, 2x times negative 4, 2 times 6x, and then 2 times negative 4. Okay. Now we're just going to simplify this. I was going to rewrite this out. Um, let's see. 12x squared minus 8x plus 12x minus 8. So what I have inside here is all right here. Okay? And these guys are all added together, so this is the sum. So these are added, well, some subtractions too, so. We have common terms here in the middle, so we can, we can combine them. So negative 8x and a positive 12 is a plus 4x and then minus 8. Okay, this, this is this right here. And you'll see that this also equals this up here. 2x plus 2 times 6x minus 4. Okay. These two expressions are equivalent. And I can't emphasize that enough. These are equivalent expressions. The top one up here is the sum. Because I add it. The bottom is the product. Where you see something like this, this would be the difference in if you want to measure how big the room is at school. Now at school, my floor tiles are one foot by one foot. So if I have my room at school, I have these one foot floor tiles. Right, so this is like my room, right? All these one foot floor tiles, I could add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? I can add all those tiles, right? So I can add all the tiles and that would give me the area of the classroom because they're one foot a piece, so one, two, three, right? Or I could multiply it together. So I know the area is this dimension times that dimension. 90 degrees from each other. And so this would be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that would be 42. Okay. So I could either add them up or I can multiply the dimensions. The sum would be adding, multiplying would be the product. The sum is adding, multiplying is the product, okay? So this is how you're gonna wanna multiply these uglier ones, more polynomials. Let's go for another one. Let's give another one a shot here. These 
these are really, really, really powerful, and it doesn't have to get stopped at just two buys like this. We can do trinomials, so something like this. How about 4a minus 2 times 6a squared minus a plus 12. It's going to be the same technique. I do, let's go for this one on this side here. So 4a minus 2. And across the top are going to be these terms. 6a squared minus a plus 12. Something like that. Now we multiply. So 4a times 6a squared. So it's 24a cubed. 4a times negative a, negative 4a squared. 4a times 12, 48a. Negative 2 times 6a squared, negative 12a squared. Minus, let's see, negative 2 times negative a is going to be positive 2a. Negative 2 times 12, negative 20. Something I want you to recognize is these diagonals are the same, are the same terms. I'm going to simplify those together. So let's see, simplify this one. 24a cubed, negative 12a squared, negative 4a squared, minus 16a squared, 48 and 2. Here we go. This is the sum. This is the product up top. This is the sum. I've added up these center terms, and this is the product where we multiply them together. Okay, so this is how you're going to multiply. Uh, polynomials. It doesn't matter. This could be three terms or four terms. This grid here just gets bigger and bigger. 